21st of September 2023. This is one of that let's talk skit marks of mine and I want to really apologize to the channel followers that I'm not so up to date with the news flashes and stuff that I do but I just really I'm struggling with my time. I am extremely busy with these talks and what a fuck moments and things like that and it takes a lot of time to do these things because I have to get my shit in a row to just put it mildly <laughs> before I do the recordings and then I'm also in contact with a lot of people that are feeding me information that are really blood chilly to say the least. I don't think the broad general public really understand what we are facing and what is building up against us. And it makes me sometimes it wants to overwhelm me but I've got faith and comfortable that I will have the energy to do what I was I'm supposed to do I said earlier to a, a guy that spoke to me about the fact that he's in the security business and uh, but now not just local security heavily and he said to me that what is what they are picking up is that first of all it is young people that forward my stuff to them and that is a good thing and the second thing is that according to him there's a lot of discussions around my videos on the black uh, groups and forums and that is also good because what we are facing is against humanity. It's not against one group or one tribe or one nation. It's a global thing and uh, we have to be very careful. Those that follow me on Twitter would know that on my Twitter profile page there's a pinned video, a pinned comment and it's a video that uh, Muhammad Ali did way back on hard talk and it was done in the days before this political correctness bullshit was on us. Now I'm going to play the clip now but it is important that you s just be patient and all you need to do is listen to what he is saying. Listen carefully to what he is saying. And another thing, when you say integration, it comes on the inner marriage too, right? All right. been together. Right, sure. And I'm sure no intelligent white person watching this show, or no intelligent uh, white man in his or her right white mind, want black boys and black girls marrying their white sons and daughters, and in return introducing their grandchildren as half brown, kinky head black people. I, w I, and I'm sure I wouldn't I'm, object to that. Well, you wouldn't, but a lot of them would. Well, I'm sure a lot of people would. No, it's just the What I'm trying to say is this. What I'm trying to say is this. Uh, you don't have it. You say you don't, but you don't have it. You really ain't going to have it. You're on the show and you got to say that. But <laughs> no, no, that's, no, that's, that's, that's not true. Why would you want to do that? Because, because I, don't, I don't think I'm any different from you, you see. Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we're much different. That's I mean, I think society's you know, made us different. You know we're different. We're all together but society's different. made us different. No, not society. God made us different. No, no, we're just human beings. He made all no, of no, us. We all, listen, bluebirds fly with bluebirds. Red birds want to be with red birds. <laughs> listen, listen, tell me when I'm wrong. Pigeons want to be with pigeons. But tell we me have when intelligence. I'm wrong. Well, we I, have an well, we must, they well, we should have, have. More, they don't have intelligence, but yet no. they stay together. We should have more intelligence than them, right? <laughs> buzzards are with buzzards. Mm -hmm. right? Buzzards are with buzzards. Bluebirds are with bluebirds. They all are birds, <laughs> but they've got different cultures. The eagles like to hang out in the mountains. The buzzards like to fly around the desert. Well, the certain... bluebird like to fly around the trees there'll and the grass. There'd be certain grass. problems a, a buzzard mating with a sparrow, wouldn't there? What? There'd be certain... <laughs> right, right. And that's, I mean, we have the problems, too. No, I, mean, don't see, I don't see... <laughs> I don't see no black and white couples in England or America walking around proud holding their children. 
That's because society... And, and going out. That's, that's society's fault. Well, I, mean, well, well, I mean, we've got to educate well, people around it. Well, life is too short for me to be raised catching <laughs> hell for something like that. I'd rather go and be my own. I have a beautiful daughter, beautiful wife. They look like me. We're all happy, and I don't have no trouble. And, <laughs> I have no trouble. Ain't, I ain't that much in love with no woman to go through all that hell. Ain't no one woman that good. <laughs> you understand? I understand, yeah. I just, I do understand. I understand. I think it's, I think it's sad that... that, that it ain't sad because I, I want my sad. child to look it's like me. Every intelligent person wants his child to look like him. I'm sad because I want to blot out my race and lose my beautiful identity. Chinese love Chinese. They love the little slanted out pretty brown skinned babies. Pakistanis love their culture. Jewish people love their culture. A lot of Catholics don't want to marry number Catholics. They want the religion to stay the same. Who want to spot up yourself and kill your race? You, you a hate of your people if you don't want to stay who you are. You shame what God made you. Now, he makes a few very important remarks about race and about how he sees his role in preserving his race. Now, I want to show you this clip, and I, not a clip, I need, I'm going to show you this poster. And I have mentioned this many times. The Kalergi plan, the genocide of all white people. The future man will be a mixed race. As for Pan-Europe, I wish to see Eurasian Negroid mixture with great variation in personality types. The Jews shall take the leading positions since Providence, God, has given Europe a spiritually superior race of nobility called the Jews. The white races of Europe should be destroyed and replaced with a race of Eurasian Negroids who can be easily controlled by us, the ruling elite. Count Richard von Kaudenhoven Kalergi, founder and president of the Pan-European Union for 49 years, written in his book, Praktische Idealismus, 1924. And this is, yeah, I, there's not another word for it, fucking important to take note of. Look how far back they've already been planning this. And then think about what Muhammad Ali has been saying. Because we've got a major problem with this specifically. A major problem. I want you to take a look at this image. This is an image of Seal. He's an excellent artist. But apart from being an excellent artist, he is an excellent specimen of his race. The man is physically extremely well built. He's intelligent and he is obviously a prime member of his tribe. Think about that. And then you look at this image. Now this woman, Heidi Klum, she is a result, and it's well published, she is a result of that uh, uh, breeding plan that Hitler had about which a hell of a lot of negative things has been published and said and people were disgusted about it and fuck knows what. But she is a result of that breeding program. The same with Mark Spitz, that Olympian champion that won all those medal medals in that one year. Same from that breeding program. So she has been bred to be a specimen of a superior tribe. Now, there's many of them, and I've read lots of stories where they are disgusted and all of that shit about that program and what, but in the meantime, they reap the fruits of that breeding program, being excellent specimens. And what does this do 
excellent specimens of their tribes go and do, they do this. And you look at it and I shake my head because what a fucking waste of genetic development. What a waste. Now you're going to ask, why is it a waste? And due to a lot of rules and so forth around children, I'm not going to show any children. But now think about the following. A son from this union can never, never in his life look or be what his father is. Never. Think back about Muhammad Ali's words. So, a son out of this union can never be like his father. And yes, lots of you are going to say, yeah, ba, 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 this and that and all of your PC bullshit and liberal bullshit and all of that. But think about that young boy when he is here around about in his teenagers, he's going to look at his father and then he's going to look at himself in the mirror and he knows he will never be the man that his father is. Never! Now, you tell me, don't you think that something in that young boy's mind is going to be, let's call it for decency's sake, unhappy. Think about that. But the big tragedy is that perfect specimen of his tribe, of his race, seal, generations of genetic development and refinement rendered him, and it stops, he does not carry those genes on to the advantage of his tribe. The same thing with Heidi Klum. A daughter born out of that union will look at her mother and then look at herself in the mirror and it would be clear to her that she can never be what her mother is, not close. Now girls are a little bit different than boys. Think about the emotional turmoil in that girl and then think about what Kalergi said and you realize the offspring from this union is exactly what Kalergi planned. And those children are going to be disconnected from the father's tribe and the mother's tribe. And you clever guys, you're going to try and tell me now it's not like that and blah, 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 all your shit. I don't want to hear it. Look at the basics. So, there is the Kalergi dream. And you must look around and think about these things and start asking yourself why do people do this to their children? Why? My opinion is simply this. They're selfish. That's what I say. Because there's those two perfect specimens from their different tribes and they throw their genetics down the fucking toilet. They rob their tribes from the advantage of their genetics. That is what they do. Now, here in South Africa, we have a situation that this unions across the color line has been politicized and it is for a lot of the young whites and the young blacks, it has become sort of a prize 
a medal of honor if they can fuck across the racial lines. They think they are achieving something, but all they are really doing is destroying both tribes. That's what they are doing. And they are leaving a product behind for Triple X. They are making children to build the Triple X tribe. And you must understand one thing. Triple X is not about the procreation of the human species. It is about wiping the human species out. And specifically the white race. So, you have to have a, an IQ of roundabout room temperature to not understand the dangers for your race's future by fucking across the racial lines. You are actually, in real cold-blooded terms, if you procreate children across the color line, you are a terrorist to your tribe. That is what you are. Because you are destroying your tribe. So, don't be too surprised if the serious members of your tribe do not condone your activities. And this has got nothing to do with race, black and white and cut like that. None. It's to do with simple human nature and the realities of the attack of Triple X on humanity. You have to be aware of these things because you're young and hormones are pumping up and down your bloodstream actually forming clots in some people and a stiff dick doesn't have a conscience there's that saying so you young youngsters you are the future of your Try it. Don't be a fucking terrorist of your tribe. Rewind and listen again to what Muhammad Ali says. Then stop the video on that Kalergi plan and read the damn thing. And get it into your skull that you are actually a tribal terrorist if you do these things. And I'm not preaching. Not preaching. I'm mentioning facts, simple facts. At some stage, people have asked me, what will you do if one of your sons gets home with a girl from another race? And I said, well, I'll shake his hand and I'll shake her hand and wish them good luck as I wave them goodbye. Because that's it. I will not be a party to blessing a union like that, which I know is bound to end in the Bluxoms a trash can. Because while they're just up and down each other's fucking legs, it's fine. But a few years down the track, when there's six children crying and screaming and whatever, and life is pressuring them, that's when the shit is going to fly. Because then, Culture is going to kick in. The culture of the mother and the culture of the father. And they will be in conflict. And you see today, right across the globe, the successful tribes are the pure tribes. The mixed tribes are struggling everywhere. Just look here in South Africa. I said it to a guy the other night when we had a discussion. I said, you must understand this. This is, a, this is a genetic thing. This is a thing that is running in the core of people. Why the colored people of South Africa? And I've got nothing against them. 
They could, there are a lot of good people among them. But their internal, internal conflicts are serious. And although they are a minority group, they are a minority group that has never been able to unite as one group. Never. They could never unite. They are full of factions. Why? Because of that internal, internal conflicts. They don't know where their tribe is. They don't belong to a tribe. They are somewhere in the middle. Kalergi explains it. So, think about these things and look around you and look at the realities and then you make the decision. Are you going to be an asset of your tribe and the future of your tribe or are you going to be a terrorist of your tribe? Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. And I, once again, I want to thank the people that are supporting the channel financially. I really appreciate it and it humbles me to see it. But someone needs to talk about these things that so many people feel is something that should be whispered behind closed doors. Have a great day.